The embattled owner of Eureka Gardens under fire from federal HUD. Reverend Richard Hamlet with the Global Ministries Foundation lost his HUD contract and federal taxpayer money to run two other properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Hundreds of families are now being relocated. We showed you the squalor at those Memphis properties last November when our investigative team traveled to Tennessee to question Hamlet and see firsthand how his other properties were being run. News 4 Jack's investigators were also the first to expose deplorable living conditions at Eureka Gardens back in September. The contract for Global Ministries to run Eureka Gardens is up for renewal next month. News for Jack's investigative reporter Lindsay Gardner spoke with HUD and local leaders about what this could mean for Jacksonville. Lindsay? Well, Joy, Reverend Richard Hamlin, after our investigative reports began, was ordered by HUD to make immediate repairs at Eureka Gardens. That deadline was last Thursday, but we found repair crews at the property today, and City Councilman Garrett Dennis says that could be a major problem. The buzz of repairs still filling the air at Eureka Gardens on the west side. We even found this gutted kitchen from cabinets and countertops yanked out onto the lawn. The property owner's deadline to make repairs and submit a certified update to HUD was four days ago. City Councilman Garrett Dennis came to see the work ongoing firsthand today. But what concerns me, uh, Global Ministries, Reverend Hamlet, uh, sent a certified uh, certificate to federal HUD saying that all their repairs were done and uh, now you see them scurrying still trying to do work uh, was that certification accurate news for jacks confirmed hud is now accusing hamlet of falsely certifying repairs at two tennessee properties and that's part of why they've pulled his contract we showed you this sewage at one of those memphis apartment complexes when we went to investigate in november we obtained this four-page letter to reverend hamlet from hud reading the owner is required to maintain units in a decent safe and sanitary manner and has failed to do so it also reads a false certification is a serious violation. It may also have other consequences. Well, it shows that uh, HUD isn't afraid to do what they need to do to, uh, you know, to make sure they have uh, decent sanitary housing for the residents uh, up in Memphis. Uh, I hope they take the same approach um, here in uh, Jacksonville. Eureka Gardens Tenant Association President Tracy Grant was out walking the property today while home from work on her lunch break, inspecting the stairs and checking in on her neighbors. She began calling News 4 Jacks in September to report deplorable living conditions at the property. If they have to relocate, that's fine with me. 400 families currently live at Eureka Gardens. Reverend Richard Hamlet's Global Ministries Foundation runs five other properties in Jacksonville. Me personally, I just want them out of Jacksonville, completely out of Jacksonville. In this letter, we obtained the reinspection scores for the properties in Memphis were 50 and a 52 out of 100. Less than an hour ago, we received a statement from Reverend Richard Hamlet, which reads in part, quote, Our partnership with local, state, and federal housing authorities in Jacksonville and other cities are all working well and to the benefit of all involved. Unfortunately, this was not the case with two struggling HUD properties in Memphis, which we had challenges historically that predated GMF investment. In this instance, GMF full-heartedly agrees that another investor may be better suited to rehabilitate these two Memphis properties. HUD inspectors will be back at Eureka Gardens this week to re-inspect. Eureka was initially given an 85 last fall, but that score was later invalidated after our investigative reports. Tom, Joy. Lindsay, thanks.